Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all you need to know about DC charging on FastNED stations using the Kia EV3. So you can charge at FastNED in four different ways. You can either use a charge card, such as your Octopus Electroverse card, a bank card, so just a standard contactless credit card, the FastNED app, and also you can scan a QR code if you haven't got any of these options, and you can pay online. In this video, we're gonna go through all of these different options, and there are chapters in the description down below if you want to look at different methods. So for the first method, I'm gonna use the Octopus Electroverse card. Now to get started, all you do is click on Start here, you then select the charging socket that you want to use. Uh, they are conveniently numbered on the fastness stations, which is quite good. So one, two, and two. One for CCS, two for Chadamo, and also two for the other CCS on the other side. You select the port. So this one is port well, number one. And then it says authenticate using an RFID card. Now, because the Octopus Electrovis card is RFID, you just place it under here. It says authenticating. And it says plug in the connector. So now that's plugged in, it says initializing, and it will take a, just a few seconds to get itself going. Now it says preparing power delivery. That'll take a couple seconds more. And then it tells you the current rate of charge. The Kia EV3 I've got today can charge at 125 kilowatt. So it well, obviously won't reach that high because it is a uh, quite a high state of charge. It tells you the charge time and how much energy you've used currently. Now to stop the charge, you need your RFID card again. So not just some random person can come along and stop it for you. If it is on the main screen here with the um, cartoon sort of imagery, click on active sessions, and then you select the port you're using. It nicely tells you which one's in use. So click on this one. And actually you can see even at 70% that the EV3 is pulling essentially the whole rate it can pull. Now to stop it, all you do is click on stop, authenticate again, Press stop and it's done. And for a few seconds, the port will click on the EU car and then you can unplug the charging connector. Now, the other option you can use is a standard bank cards, whether that be the physical card itself or Apple Pay or Google Pay. I'm gonna use Apple Pay in this example here because that's what I've got to hand. And there is gonna be a 40 pounds pre-authorization charge. And in my testing a few minutes ago, it does refund you very, very quickly, almost immediately after you finish charging. So that's not gonna be that much of a problem. Now with the bank card option, you click on start again. You select the charger. So in this case, number one. And it says authenticate using a, another payment method or RFID card. So I'm gonna set up Apple Pay here. Got my credit card, click there. It will go through and do its sort of pre-bank checks and stuff. Shouldn't take too long. So there we go, 40 pounds, authorizing. I'll get a notification through in a second. It says, thank you. It says, authenticating here. Plug in the connector, which we'll do now. And then the same sort of thing as, as the previous method, just going through the whole rigmarole of testing to make sure everything's safe and delivering power. Again, 70% roughly, um, and it tells you the current speed. I've got a notification from the Cars app to tell me that charging has started. Same sort of process as the last payment method. Click on stop to stop the charge. And the big difference with this is anyone can come along to stop the charge. So there is a sort of a benefit to using a provider roaming partner like Octopus Electroverse. Pop the charger back in the cradle here so for the next person to use it. And that is pretty much done. And it gives you a nice little bit of information about what you've done essentially. The other method you can use is using the Octopus Electroverse app. While we looked at using the card, it is also possible to use the app and navigate the, the charging from your phone as well. You can see here I found the charging station. It is usually in the correct space. It gives you information about each charging point, the ID numbers, what ports are available, because some do Chadamo and some do CCS only, what speeds are available, and once you click start, it will tell you to plug in, uh, and then you click start charge to start the ball rolling. The app will then update to give you information about how fast the car is charging, how long you've been charging for, but also how many kilowatt hours you've used in the time period of charging. To stop the charge, simply swipe on the slide to stop section and the charge will stop. If you don't have an RFID card or access to a bank card at the moment, what you can do is pay on the web instead. Simply scan the QR code that's listed on the screen and then enter in the charging code to continue. It will then show you the location, the charging ID, 
and the price per kilowatt hour. You can then select the connector and then enter in your credit and debit card information. Once you've paid, it will then say that payment has been successful and then it will tell you to plug the charging, in this case, the charger one with the CCS connector into your car. You then have to use the charging screen to stop the charging session. You can't do it from the web app. Once finished, click the stop button on the physical charger and it will stop by itself. So that's been a look at how to use the DC fast chargers from Fastned in the UK. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe to Interface Cars. My name's Alex and I'll see you again next time.